Okay, the date is the 28th of July 1999. I'm uh, currently sat outside Ibrox. Just had a very interesting meeting with this man. And it's just given me the opportunity to become the new manager of Glasgow Rangers Football Club. So, obviously I'm going to accept. He's just asked me to wait in the car while he uh, finishes up another meeting with someone. Uh, in the meantime, while I was out here, bumped into a couple of fans. Unfortunately, didn't recognise me, but never mind. Uh, did ask one, what's the uh, NTL stand for on the front of his shirt? Apparently it's some new funky dial-up internet. Sounds pretty good to me. Hoping to get a bit of that when I get my, my feet firmly under the desk. So I'm out here, there's some activity. Um, not many coming to go... Oh, saying that. I'm saying there not many coming to go in. There's someone leaving now, this guy. Not sure who that is. And this guy's going in. Now he looks a bit like a player. I might go try and grab him and see, uh, quiz him about a couple of things. You know what I'm going to do first? I'm going to check out the ground first, actually. Oh, hello. Imagine that packed to the rafters on a Saturday afternoon. Beautiful. And there's some people already in the ground looking like it. In fact, the chairman did say I need to go get some tickets or something from the accountant, so I'm going to head there now. While I'm here... Good chance to check out the club's finances. 29 million in the bank with 21 million in transfer funds. That's not bad, that. I can do some damage with that. Oh, my word. Okay, the accountant has given me some uh, information. Apparently, there's a game tonight. Um, and I need to get a quick flight to Moldova. I say quick. Um... Right, so, we've got Zimbru Chisinau in the uh, Champions League second qualifying phase, first leg. Um, that's why the fans are in, this, in the ground. There's a, apparently the stream in the game on the, on the big screens for those that can't travel. Okay, so best get um, introduced to the squad then. See what I'm going to do. So, best start with goalkeepers. Who's this man? Stefan Kloss. Big German goalkeeper. I like the look of him. Number one as well. I've already been given the number one shirt, so that might say something. Who's the uh, potential other guy? Lionel Charbonnier. What about the reserves? Who's in the reses? Uh, you've got a Mark Brown in the 18, and Alan McGregor. Probably we've got Anti Niemi. He's on loan to Charlton. So, yeah, I made my decision. It's going to be the big. The big German in goal. In defence, we're a bit light on left backs and right backs. So, Arta Newman could play left back, Perini could play right back. But instead, what I'm probably going to do is go for a bit of a back three. And I think, with that in mind, I'm probably going to go Lorenzo Amoruso, left centre half, uh, Craig Moore, bang in the middle, and then Sergio Perini on the right hand side of that back three. I think that's how I'm going to uh, proceed for this one. So let's get those uh, guys locked in. Craigie Moore and Perini. Right, moving into the midfield. Arta Newman is too good to be left out. Um, so what I'll probably do is play a holding midfielder. And I think Arta Newman can do that job. I'm quite confident he's uh, he's got the ability. He has got a captain's armband on though. I ain't giving that. It's a bit presumptuous. He may be my captain. He might not be. But... Uh, don't get too far ahead of yourself, Arta. Right, into midfield now. I'm going to have a, again, I've got Konchelskis. He could easily go right wing, but he could also go up top here. So what I'm probably going to do is play a nice uh, a nice three across the middle. So maybe Neil McCann, Barry Ferguson, and maybe Claudio Reina, I think, would be a nice, uh, nice mix. I've just realised we've got Van Bronckhurst in this team. So, sorry Neil McCann, I think I'm going to go for Van Bronckhurst instead, to be honest. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for that, that midfield lineup. Okay, now up on the attack, apparently the chairman was saying, um, the chap I spoke to early doors has had a bit of an issue. Uh, this man, Marco Negri. I got on really well with him, to be honest, and I've told him I want him to play for me. He seems to be uh, quite up for that, so 
we're going to stick him in. Again, we're going to go for a top, th we'll go three up top. We're going to go for Gabriel Amato, Marco Negri, and probably Rod Wallace. Then we're going to fill the bench with what's ever left the ledge. Colin Hendry, Andre Konchelskis from uh, former Man United player. But no, I'm happy with that lineup. So to be fair, um, I'm here now in Moldova, barely met the squad, but I've, I've told them what, who I want to play. Craigie Moore, captain. Let's do this. So I'm hoping this isn't all a bit of a whirlwind and uh, I've not picked the, uh, the worst team ever. I'm pretty confident in the team I've picked, to be fair. And I'm hoping these guys don't cause us too many, too many problems. I've never heard of them. Moldovan football hasn't really got much of a uh, much of a reputation, so oh, get in there, Rodney Wallace. That settled the nerves. A nice away goal. Love to qualify in the Champions League. And Marco Negri. What happened to him last season, Rangers fans? Apparently, he, um, didn't play a single game. If we look at him, he got thirty-two goals in twenty-nine appearances in the ninety-seven, ninety-eight season, ninety-eight, ninety-nine season. Nowhere to be seen. Well, don't worry. In my squad, he's getting a game. But no, this is healthy. This is 2-0 away at Moldovan uh, Zimbruchisa now. Never heard of him. Uh, still got to give him respect. I think we've gone for a pretty tough lineup. Nice solid three across the back, three across the middle, three up top. With Arta Newman holding midfielder. Barry Ferguson, man of the match, right in the centre of the park. Claudio Reni didn't have the best of games. But everyone else played pretty well. Stefan Kloss didn't have a lot to do. Didn't have a shot on target, to be fair. But now, as things go, I'm happy with that. And then we've got a uh, trip to Fir Park in three days. So, Rod Wallace. Right, I did say I might throw in this man. Mr. Kanchelskis. He's going to be my... Uh, Replacement for Rod Wallace. Alright, let's do this then. So that means Albert can go on the bench now. He's out for three weeks, Rodney Wallace. That's not good. Right, Lee McCulloch's up front for uh, Motherwell. Early yellow car for Barry Ferguson. I'm not liking that. Hopefully he keeps his uh, temperament for the rest of the game. I might have to look to maybe bring him off at some point. But no, it'll be nice to get a good solid uh, win away from home. Motherwell, tough side to come to. Third part, not the, not the easiest of places to travel. But off the back of our 2 0 win in the uh, Champions League second leg, uh, sorry, first leg, second qualifying round. Come on, Marco. Could do with Marco Negri getting uh, consecutive goals. How are we doing? They've had six shots, two on target. We've had four, three on target. So it's quite a close game. Uh, Arthur Newman's struggling a bit. I've got Ian Ferguson who could come on, but I've not put him on the bench. Claudio Reyna as well is a bit... Um, struggling a little bit with fitness, but hey-ho. It's a strong team, I think, so we're going to keep it out there. Oh, God. Oh, yes. Stefan Klaus. Great save. Come on, this isn't very entertaining. Nil-nil. Oh, Gabriel Amato. Beautiful. Stefan Kloss with a huge, huge contribution to this. Oh, I knew he was getting tired. I knew he was getting tired. Um, with that being said, then, I might drop Baza into this area here. Or do I drop one of the midfielders in? Mm. Yeah, I'm going to bring off uh, Andre. I'm going to put Barry Ferguson where he was, back where he was, and instead of, I'm going to bring up Kanchelskis and put Neil McCann in that holding midfield role. Don't want to be too gun ho we've got a 1-0 lead to protect, and we've got, um, obviously, down to uh, 10 men. Been fortunate already this game, come on, see it out, five minutes to go, come on. Pressure's on. That's nice, nice breakaway attack, Beautiful. So apart from uh, Arthur Newman losing his head, uh, that was a good game, that. I'm going to have to find him, though. He's accepted the fine. That's always good to see. Second leg of the um, 
Champions League qualifying game. Ah, Celtic won 3 0. So they'll be top. Craig Moore injured, that's not good. So, the big man, Colin Hendry, 33 years of age, but he's going to come in. Ali Kanchalski's play got a 7 out of 10. Claudio Reyna is still struggling. So, what I might do is I might put Baza. Who can I put in the middle? I might put McCann in the middle and then Baza on the right. Ian Ferguson. Make sure he's on the bench in case we need him. Arthur Newman's struggling again, but no, happy with that team again. Again, we've got a 2-0 lead. This is my first game though at home in front of the Ibrox uh, faithful. So I wouldn't mind a big, uh, a nice nice victory here to uh, let them know I'm in business. Because we've got the uh, Old Firm Derby in two days, in two games time even. Come on guys, three up top. What's going on? Amato, Negri, Kanchelskis. See, Arthur Newman is... Seems to constantly be struggling with his fitness at the minute, so Ian Ferguson will bring on. Don't want to risk uh, Arthur Newman losing his head again if he uh, if he's struggling fitness-wise. Come on, guys, we've got 50,000 Rangers fans in the building here. Let's give them so much to cheer about. Come on. Well, that's a bit horrendous. We absolutely dominated them, did not take our chances. That's a bit concerning with the old firm coming up. Oh my days, that's all you need. So we've qualified, third qualifying phase. We've got Palmer, Gianluigi Buffon in goal, Fabio Cannavaro at the back, Lillian Taram at the back, where's he? There he is. Uh, up front, they've got Hernan Crespo. In midfield, they've got Ariel Orlando Ortega, they've got Mario Stanic. Dino Baggio, defensive midfielder. This is not going to be easy at all. Oh. Dundee Celtic 1-1. One, one. That's good. That means we've got a chance to go top if we get a win here. Okay, so Ian Ferguson. I'm going to bring in for the suspended Arthur Newman. I'm going to keep the squad the same. And I'm glad the is back 100%. So now I'm not. I'm going to bring... Um, I'm going to switch McCann and Rayner again. I'm not going to do this. McCann's going to come back out. And Baz, Baz is going to go in the middle. There we are. So is that the same squad? Obviously Craig Moore's injured. Who else is injured? There's someone else. Uh, Rod Wallace is out for three weeks. Less now. But yeah, I think this is probably the strongest team I can put out, if I'm honest. That's a nice start. Come on, get in there, Claudio. Two minutes in. First uh, league game in charge. Oh, Marco Negri. I'm not sure, but the next game might not be the old firm now. I think it might be the third, uh, the first leg, third round qualifying uh, Champions League game. Claudio Arena. Stuck one penalty away, missed one penalty. I might have to start. Uh, I might have to throw the uh, penalty take into Marco. Oh, Barry Ferguson. This is more like it. Hey, oh, come on, Claudio. There we go. Scored two, missed one. Five nil at half time. Loving it. Who's playing particularly well? Obviously, Claudio Reno and Negri. I'm glad I brought him back. I was going to leave um, Neil McKenna on the team, but. When he's fully fit, it shows what a great player Rainer can be. Come on, uh, I thought Andre Kanchelskis might have a bit more uh, to say. That's not great. Clean sheet would have been good. Come on, Stefan. Is that the first goal is conceded, though? I think it might. No, it isn't. Is it? I can't think now. Top of the league. Yeah, it was the first goal is conceded, to be fair. Yeah, we have got Palmer and Celtic. What I'll do is I'll... I'll play the home game against Parma, I'll play the old firm and we'll leave it there, I think. So, this is huge. Too far. I can't really change that team. How did Kanchelskis play? Um, he got a 7. Rod Wallace is coming back. He's only 78% fitness, so he can't play. Arthur Newman I could bring in. Oh, Ian Ferguson got an 8, though. 
So no, sorry Arta. You uh you missed your opportunity there. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the same squad. Unfortunately, uh, Craig Moss still injured. So I've got Colin Andrew going up against Hernan Crespo. Wish us luck. To be fair, just just be nice not to concede. That'll just be uh that'll be great to take away to uh to Italy, but that might be a big ask with the uh, attacking talent they've got up front. But we've been pretty solid. We've got a uh, three across the the middle at the back. We've got a defensive midfielder, a three across midfield. So we're quite compact. We're not uh, we're not spread out. So hopefully that'll play into our hands. Palmer though, mm, I could see that coming. I could see that coming. Amaruso is not having the best of games. Right, what can I do different? Can't even bring on Bod Wallace, he's not fit enough. Um, I'm going to take off on Bronkhurst just because Neil McCann might be a bit more of an attacking threat. We'll go for that. God, nearly got a player sent off, then. I don't even know who that was, we'd lost his head. But it'd be nice to take a uh, something away with us, not go in there needing. Oh, God, there we go. Well, that's not great. That is going to be tough now. And Dave's not happy with me either. Oh, Shao Bonnier has wanted. Give me two and a half million, I might consider it. Oh, God, how many players want him? Right, uh, Celtic, all firm Derby next. Bring it on. I'm, qu I'm quietly confident. I wish he was at home. Uh, right, who can maybe come back in? Rod Wallace. Do we do it? I'm going to do it. Rod Wallace is coming. He's not 100% fit. He's 90% fit. But I'm bringing him back in. Uh, who else could play? Craig Moore? No, he's not fit enough. Arthur Newman? How did Ian Ferguson do there? He got an 8. Can't really keep him out. Sorry, Arthur, you're going to stay there. But yeah, other than that, I can't really part a stronger team, I don't think. Teams don't want to pay two and a half million for Chao Bonnier, never mind. Who's Celtic got? <sighs> never mind, it doesn't matter who they've got. It's all about Rangers. Oh, God. I forgot what I did last time, I think I brought... Now what I'll do is I'll stick Fergus in there and I might bring uh, Arter on. So Rainer there. It's a bit more defensive. So two defensive midfielders in Arthur Newman and Ian Ferguson. Because we are at Celtic Park at the end of the day. Come on, Marco. It'd be great for Marco and Negri to, uh, to get on the score sheet in this one. Rod Wallace as well. Back in the team. And Marto, he's unhappy about something, but if he scores here, that'll surely uh, make him a bit happier. Tight. Tight first half, they had five shots, we had five shots, they had two on target, we had one on target. Rod Wallace is struggling, I haven't even got, I didn't even put Andre on the bench. That's a bit of a rookie error, never mind. We're going to continue never, nevertheless. I'm pretty, reason, I was reasonably happy with that first half. Come on. Oh, no, Ayl Berkovic. Ooh, Sergio Perini with an equaliser. Come on. Celtic players losing their heads a bit. Maracovic just got a yellow card. Come on, guys. Oh, they agree over the bar. Come on, hold it now. I'm ticking it. I'll tick a 1 1. Oh, you. Well, this hasn't gone to plan. Oh, Jesus. I was hoping to finish on a nice, positive 1 all draw at Celtic Park. And we've got, and got uh, a bit of a drubbing in the 90th minute. Well, that's not gone to plan. But it's early days. I'm confident in this team. I'm confident we can turn this around. But no, I hope you enjoyed that. Looking back at um, a throwback to 1999. I wish I could have got a victory over Celtic just then. Palmer was always going to be tough in the Champions League qualifying phase. But uh, no, if you enjoyed that, please subscribe. And above all... And as always, thank you very much for watching.